What's up guys, this is a quick video on how do you use your own router with Verizon Fios. Y'all have been complaining, so third time's a charm, hopefully. Uh, if you have TV service, please stick to the end. There's a few caveats. If you just have internet and or phone, uh, this should work no problem. Please, please watch the video to its entirety. There's a few caveats you really need to know, and Verizon really doesn't encourage people to use their own router because they want to make money renting these out. But hey, I'm here to help you guys out. So... You're gonna take your router here. There is a port on the back here, you'll see. It's gonna be this white port back here. It's gonna probably say internet or WAN. You're gonna pull it out, so you're gonna pinch it like, um, kind of like the phone cable, it says pinch and pull. See where the little clip is? Boop, boop. And you're gonna stick it into your router where it says internet or WAN, and like so. If you don't hear the click, you probably don't have the best cable. It's probably gonna come loose, but yeah, it's not gonna come out. Now, please, don't waste money on an old router. If for some reason you didn't have a network cable coming out of here to begin with that says internet or WAN, and you just have this cable TV jack, well, then you're gonna run a net network cable from the router to the Verizon ONT, and it's just kinda like, <clears throat> it's like a fiber modem that Verizon provides. It's gonna be either here in the closet, a little black box here, and you'll see there's like a little network port here. It, you're gonna see it looks like uh, this thing right here, not these phone jacks. Um, or it might be white, it might be a white unit and you're gonna also find something that says ethernet or you know, it, it just can fit in one of those things. You're gonna plug it in there. And if for some reason that, uh, you know, it's, the cable's not long enough, you're gonna need to go out and purchase one from Amazon or you can just go to, just give Verizon a call, say, hey, I need a tech to come out, run a network cable and boom. And now you're going to plug the cable in and call Verizon up. If you do have a good size cable, you're going to tell them, hey, I uh, need to get the network port on my ONT working. And they're going to help you with that. Now, if you cannot find the ONT, it's either going to be inside in a closet like so, or even outside in like a utility closet on the balcony, or it could even be out in the um, like a laundry room or a basement garage or outside of the home. And it's not just these black units, but it might even be one of the older white units. Um, and they also would be in like a, a kind of like an enclosure weatherproof. Now, honest to God, these are not bad routers. So if you're trying to save money, you could just purchase it outright from Verizon or off of eBay. And um, yeah, I mean, it's great because you have the tech support. They can do speed tests to make sure your, your internet's good. And if you want better coverage, I honestly don't recommend going for like Eero or one of those Orbi like mesh Wi-Fi systems. They talk to each other through Wi-Fi and then, you know, it's just not stable on the other unit, the other satellite units. Verizon does sell a good network extender where they plug into the uh, cable TV jacks here and it's a nice solid consistent um, network speed on any of the other extenders. So it's really, really cool. And if you have Frontier Fios, which is um, you know anywhere else besides the Northeast of the US, you, they, Verizon sold their stuff to Frontier. And that you, if you're trying to save money, um, you don't want to use your own router because they will charge you. Um, so in that case, if you have Frontier, just purchase one from eBay and you're gonna be fine. I know it's a weird issue, but hey, I don't have Frontier. If you have Verizon Fios, you, you're good. You can use your own router. They won't charge you an extra fee. Uh, so there's that. And finally, if you have TV service with Verizon or Frontier, just do yourself a favor and get a TiVo. Uh, there's a lot of issues with using Verizon cable boxes with your own router. The problem is that you basically, this little network, the reason there's a coax jack going to these things is because basically um, it sends internet signal out to coax um, using like a standard called Mocha. Um, for channel guide, uh, like apps like Netflix and things like that. And the problem with that is that, um, you know, you could just pick up something called a Mocha adapter, which basically you plug this into your router up here in the LAN ports, and then this goes into your cable TV jack. But I've seen a lot of weird quirks, like voicemail not working, like, uh, you know, like caller ID, um, getting firmware updates to the bo cable boxes. And then also the, um, the new Verizon TV, the Fios TV one from Verizon, you can do wireless cable boxes, but you need to have their router because they have the, the they have the tech. Uh, there's some kind of software running on these that you don't see. You cannot use your own router for that. This gives Wi-Fi to the um, the Verizon TV minis. So yeah, I mean honestly, if you do have TV service and you want to save money, just purchase 
the Verizon router, get the extenders, you're gonna be fine. But it, it, there's just so many headaches, I don't recommend, people are gonna tell you to get the Mocha adapter. There's a lot of issues, guys. I, I don't recommend it, because you're gonna, you know, it's just not gonna get updates, or little quirks here and there. But I really hope this helped. Any questions, um, please put it in the, the comments down below. I swear to God, if I hear one more person tell me, oh, I'm annoying, and I'm trying to help you guys out so you guys can save money, but uh, yeah, let me know.